Well, welcome back to my reviews. Got some more Thunderbird stuff here I picked up at the flea market. Thunderbird 2. Plastic construction, it's not die cast. buttons you got it standing on the uh, legs here and sound effects Release the pod. And it's got Thunderbird 4 in there. Again, just a plastic toy. Kind of like the uh, detail they put into this. And with the guns showing at the front. And got the Thunderbird one from the same fella. Turn turn the thrusters here and the, the wings open up. And it does have a button here, which I assume is for sound effects, but the batteries are dead I guess. That's a nice one. And Thunderbird 3. And push the uh, thruster on this. And these arms open up. Just so they can grab things in space. I never knew that had that function, that Thunderbird 3. Being pretty light, light construction, plastic. Thunderbird 1, 2, and 3.
And in the die cast category, I picked up another one of these. Got a good sticker on this side and kind of rough on that side. And some issues with these axles and wheels on the rear. That one's not bad. It's this lost axle. Top opens up. No missiles. radar screen turns sometimes, typical of these, so I was just glad to get it, especially in this green color. Fit in well with my other one I got before Christmas, that's the K111 missile launcher in the Battle King series. And another die cast I got. From the regular seller there, in the bottom of the box. The dinky number 240 Cooper race car. Some issues as you can see. But all these, all the parts can be ordered. The driver, windscreen, the uh, engine cover, tires, and the decal kit. Probably give it a good sanding and clean up and then uh, repaint it and order all the parts I need. Bring it back to life. Another thing I got was this motorcycle. I think I've seen these in Walmart at times. But uh, the only reason I got it was because I've um, got the Dreadnoughts out of the G.I. Joe series and I, I need bikes for them so this will serve as one of them. They don't have to be choppers or anything, they just have to uh, be close to the right scale. I believe this is Xandar. Zartan and Zarana's brother. So, I think I've got all the dreadnoughts now, I just need bikes for them. And I do have the Thunder Machine, so... And the last item I picked up on Sunday was this Matchbox Super King Merryweather fire truck. It's in really good shape this one for its age and just what it is. A few little marks where the ladder sits up here. 
and it has the uh, plastic ladder that goes into the metal one here. Everything's pretty decent on it. Stickers are all good. Number 15. Kent Fire Brigade. And this crest here. Which may be Kent Fire Brigade. Same on the other side. This is a pretty old company, Merriweather. It was established around 1690 in London by Nathaniel Hadley, and they were producing um, pumps and apparatus for firefighting. And the original name Hadley, Simpkin, and Lot. And Lot gained full control of the company at one time. And when he retired, he handed it over to his nephew, by marriage, Moses Merriweather. And who he had apprenticed with the company in 1807. And he had three sons became known as Merriweather and Sons. And they sold the fire apparatus to uh, cities around the world. And by 1913, its machines were being used across the UK, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Burma, Egypt, India, Singapore, and China. So. I don't know about today, but I know in the 80s they ran into trouble like a lot of companies did, so I don't know exactly who they are today, but Merriweather itself had a long, long history in this, uh, in the firefighting business. And they made some nice fire engines. Merryweathers are pretty distinctive looking, at least to me. Always seem to tell when you're looking at one. But, um, this is a nice one. I like that metallic paint too. I did a uh, review on the regular wheel, king size version of this, quite some time ago. I'll include a link in this video if you wanted to look at it. Anyways. I also have a message um, for the fishermen in Courtney who wanted me to look for fishing gear and different things at the flea market. There wasn't really anything there. A couple of fly rods and a uh, one of those Japanese glass floats for nets. Other than that, there was really nothing there, but I'll keep my eyes open for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review on uh, flea market finds, and tune in next time. We'll see what we come across. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.